Hello everyone, it's Winona the Left-Handed Beater. Um, welcome back and welcome aboard if you're new. If you like what you see, please like, subscribe and comment. I moved my camera a bit, we'll see how this works. I noticed it's kind of zooming in and out a bit. If it doesn't work, I'll try something else. But um, anyway, I've been telling you I have been doing bead weaving. And I kind of wanted to wait till I had a little bit of a collection to show you. Um, geez, my nails are dirty again. You know, yesterday I went out and I picked raspberries. My plan was to pick the raspberries, peas, peas have already been picked once, and beans. Well, it took me over two hours to pick the raspberries. There were so many raspberries, I couldn't believe it. And by then I was done. <laughs> so um, I had roasted a chicken for supper and roasted potatoes, fresh potatoes. So I um, just grabbed enough beans to make some garlic beans and um, made a little sauce with some of the raspberries and baked a cake and that was it for my day. So this morning I was super tired and I slept in and then I forgot to put my watch on and my watch keeps track of how active I am. I just put it on now. So I've only burned 35 calories today. I've exercised zero minutes and I've been active for two, uh, I've been on my feet for at least a minute for two hours out of 10. So I got a lot of catching up to do to get that complete today. But I'm gonna go out and pick beans later and the peas. But anyway, let's get on to my jewelry. So this is a bracelet I made from Gina's, um, Gina Moody's um, treasure bag that Kath had bought me. Um, I did this quite a while ago and I just love it, but I haven't been wearing it because it's been in my box to show you guys. So I don't know if I can get up close enough to get a, a good picture of it. But yeah, it's really pretty. I like this pattern. It was quick. It was easy to do. And I think I got it done in like an hour or so. So there's number one. And then I went on to Gina at Orchid and Opal. And I bought a couple of kits of hers. One was from the beading school. Um, Cherry Blossom, I think it was. And I believe the first thing I made out of that kit were these earrings. And I think I did a bit wrong, but I like them the way I did them anyway. I've learned so much doing these kits. So there's the front. And now all these, this jewelry can go into my um, jewelry that I wear. So yeah, these are pretty for the summer. These are going on holidays with me, I think. I'm gonna have, thank goodness we're driving, hey? <laughs> I'm gonna have so much luggage. Then I made this, but I'm not gonna put it on, they put it on um, silk cording, like a, a thicker piece of silk. I don't really care for that look. So I'm probably just gonna put it on a piece of leather or, or a chunkier chain, but that's really pretty too. I learned how to use the half tilas in there and then these little little daggers and then there's the back and then to do this peyote um, bale that was fun I forget what was this the ladder stitch I think I'm not sure so then the, I think the last thing I made from that kit was this bracelet which I just love that'd be a pretty bracelet for the wedding wouldn't it I think I made, I might have made this one too big. I don't know why I think my wrists are so big all the time. Well, yeah, there's a fair amount in there, but look how pretty that is. That is really pretty. Yeah, I get out of the range of the extra lights and there's not much light there then. And again, we use those half tealas which I loved. Went through a lot of beads. There was one more piece that I'm not done. I didn't have enough um, um, delicas, so I had to order them. I ran out of these delicas here. Oh, you seem so far away today. So I had to order more and I just haven't got back to it. I've been having so much fun doing other things. So then I went on to her um, 
I think this is the ethereal opal. I'm not sure. Some of this might be from another collection. I can't remember. But I made this bracelet with gem duos and demis, 80 demis, 15 o's, it looks like, and some little rondelles. And it does up really nice. I have a harder time getting these clasps off, I think, than getting them on. Come on. There we go. So that's a nice bracelet too. I love, I love these demis. I, I'm actually, I have a whole, not a whole bunch, but I have some in my cart at Eureka Beads. I'm just debating whether I should put the order in or not. But, and then I made this, and this I think is one of my absolute favorite bracelets of all time this one. That is why I ordered all those Tila's from Auntie, Auntie, I can't remember the name of the company, but isn't that gorgeous? And I made this too big too. I don't know what's wrong with me, but this uses those demis and look how they form that cross in the center. This was so much fun to make too. Totally different than I would have thought to make it and then there's where it's done up I probably could have got rid of one row and I probably the next time I make it I'll get rid of the one row but isn't that gorgeous she's one talented lady and this is Gina from Orchid and Opal if you don't know and if you don't know her you've definitely got to check her out because she is amazing and then I did I think I did these earrings first and again I'm not sure which kit they were from I don't know if I like the camera that far away. And they're beautiful. I wonder if I could zoom in. There we go. Aren't those gorgeous? Camera doesn't do it justice. And then there's the back. This kind of curves here. Oh, I need to put these up here. And then what did I do next? I think I did these earrings with the honeycombs. And those were fun too. I don't know, these would be great for St. Patrick's Day, but they're kind of a, a green. I, with, with this green in here, I may, well, who's to say? I might wear it. But I'm doing these more to learn because you can take the techniques and apply them elsewhere. Like, look at the way we made this in the center to go on to attach to our ear, ear wire. Then I made this necklace. I'm missing something. Hmm. Because I did this two different ways. Huh, I don't know where it is. because there's that one. Hmm, I wonder if I left it at my brother's place. I worked on these at my brother's place. But there's that one. I'm gonna have to look through. Now I'm wondering where that, where that pendant is. And there's the back. And I like, to, we use pinch beads to um, bezel this one. And then we've got pinch beads to make the bail really cute and what a beautiful necklace and then some of the seed beads finish it off I've never done that before well I have I guess in some of the atomic boxes but never really thought of it I wasn't using beading wire that back then I think that's why now that's bothering me where that pendant is hmm and then this bracelet is the last one and man, I struggled with this. And it wasn't Gina's fault, it was mine. I kept doing things wrong, and then I would think, okay, I got this, and then I would forget a bead. But, and I also ended up taking it apart because I put eight beads on this side instead of seven. And But yeah, it's pretty, not really the colors. Well, I wear these colors in the summer. Actually, I think I have a shirt in that color a top that I could probably wear it with. But yeah, really pretty. 
And there should be one more with this center. But I'll have to look and, and see. And then I'll show you in my next video of the things that I am bezeling. So we'll zoom out a bit. Oh, that's cool. I can zoom in and out with this. So anyway, that's my jewelry. My finished jewelry I made. I hope you like it. And if you like it and you want a link to one of the videos that does it, that shows how to do it, I will definitely share the link with you so you can learn how to do it. I don't feel comfortable doing these pieces on my channel yet because they're all new patterns from these people. And I don't feel like that's right. Even though I think to myself, but I'm showing it from a different perspective because I'm left-handed and we do things differently left-handed. I know myself some things I do right-handed way and some people things I do my left-handed way. But um, I think if I did, I would ask permission definitely before I did a video and get permission before I get a video. Anyway, that's it. Let me know what your favorite is too. Um, I'm curious to hear. This is mine definitely. But I love them all, and I've learned so much. I'm, I'm. This is what gave me the courage to bezel something on my own, without a pattern. But anyway, I wish you lots of love, luck, and happiness until we meet again. Take care, my friends. Bye bye.